What's up guys, Hong for OG Fitness and in today's video we're going to talk about steroids in um, MMA, BJJ and Judo. I had a subscriber ask me this question so I figure uh, yeah it's, it's, uh, it's an interesting topic man. So for those of you guys who are new to the channel, 41 years old, uh, I am a judoka, right? I've been doing martial arts my whole life. Uh, judo, I've been doing this for about uh, four years, four or five years, something like that. And prior to that, I did about six years of BJJ and I've done like a whole bunch of other martial arts since I was young, right? So I'm still going strong, going for my black belt as soon as this quarantine is over, right? And of course, uh, I wanna go for a national title, a Canadian title in my division, like masters, I don't know, maybe three, four or five, whatever number it is at that point. <laughs> You know, and, and whenever this pandemic uh, uh, finishes, then we can actually get back to it. So, and from what I've heard, guys, um, let me know if I'm wrong, but I, I heard that, like, okay, Trudeau, our prime minister up here in Canada, because that's where, I, that's where I'm, I'm from, uh, and that's where I'm at, really. He's talking about a year and a half uh, for, for a vaccine, right? But then I, I've, I've, I've heard some other podcasts, you know, by other scientists and, and, uh, uh, and, and people like that and they're saying they're talking about three years man so this is the way I see it a year and a half to three years that's the timeline you got to put in your head in terms of life going back to normal I'm not saying businesses aren't going to start reopening slowly but I mean if they reopen and then of course there's a new wave of uh, uh, you know uh, a contamination and, and all that then of course they're gonna have to like restrict us again and put us back into quarantine. So all that being said, it's better to have plan for the uh, plan for the worst and hope for the hope for the best, right? Okay, so let's get into this topic. By the way, like uh, this video if you like it, of course, uh, and uh, you know subscribe, comment, share. Uh, it helps grow the channel, guys, and uh, it's very much appreciated. You know, uh, the community has grown since uh, since what about a year and a half I started this. I haven't been consistent, but now I'm, I'm really consistent with this, and I I really want to uh, get this off the ground and, and uh, do this right, do this thing. So I'm also a personal uh, trainer, so I train. That's what I do for a living. I, I train people in a gym, not now, right? But I've I've been doing people. Uh, I've been doing online training. I started that. So if ever you guys are interested, there's a link down below, and uh, I specialize with guys over 40, you know, to get back in shape. Uh, so they can practice our martial arts and all that, you know. Uh, I do a lot of mobility work, a lot of uh, weightlifting, of course, a lot of uh, stretching, and uh, of course, very geared towards what you need to perform as an athlete, as a martial artist, right? Uh, I'm, of course, <clears throat> like, I use bodybuilding uh, principles and methods and stuff like that, but the idea is not to get huge. But definitely, if, you're, if you need muscle mass, then you gotta add on uh, a decent amount of muscle, right? Because it's important to be fit. Okay, so I'm going off on a tangent. Okay, let's get back to the subject, which is steroids uh, in BJJ, in MMA, and in uh, Judo. Okay, so let's start with MMA. For sure, guys are on steroids. For sure. I mean, what? watch the, you know, like, j just watch how many times guys get popped for, uh, uh, you know, uh, by, by USADA testing and all that, and then they get the, the you know, they, they get stripped of their title, or they just, you know, like, um, get in trouble uh, because, you know, they got caught, right? So everyone at that level is, is you know, at that level is taking something, right? So, and here's the thing too. I mean, if everyone's doing it and then you don't do it, right? Then it kind of puts you at a, uh, a disadvantage, you know? The, the, so, so guys who end up taking it, I don't judge them at all, man. You know, the way I see it, it's kind of like pro sports, you know? Uh, which it is a pro sport, right, MMA. But like, if you look at the NFL and, and, and all that, I mean, guys are on stuff, man. And I mean, it's just to level the playing field because it's so competitive. Competitive. Uh, there's so much money on the line, you know, stuff like that. So if everyone is doing it, is it still considered cheating? Um, I think from a moral standpoint, yes, definitely. But when you look at, if you just look at it on a like, pure logical you know, perspective, then maybe not. I don't know. I, I'm not sure how I feel about it, you know? Uh, but, um, I mean, I'm not sure about how I feel regarding if it's cheating or not, if everyone's taking it. So, I don't know. Let me know down below, guys. And in, uh, in BJJ, for sure the guys are taking it. Oh, my God. 
like, uh, like you see, you hear these guys like training uh, seven days a week or something like that, you know, and 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 like you know how hard it is to train that hard. Like if you're young, it, it's one thing, right? But even when you're young, I mean, you're gonna accumulate injury and damage and stuff like that because you're not giving enough. Uh, you're accumulating a lot of muscular imbalances, right? When you're doing a, a sport at a high level and practicing so much, so often, so hard. Okay, and so you need something to recover faster, right? So that's the thing with steroids, guys. It's not just about getting big. Like, of course you could get big, but the reason, one of the main reasons, right, is that you recover so much faster, so much faster. And of course you get stronger too, because your muscles are able to contract harder just because you have all that testosterone and stuff, right? And so when people take uh, PEDs and stuff like that, it's really just for recovery when it comes to, 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 to performance for, for, for athletes, right? Of course, uh, you could put on size, that's, that's, that's a given, right? Because you, because you recover so fast, you could just go back in the gym and, and work out like just as hard as you did yesterday, you know, kind of thing. So it's, that's what it is, you know, it's recovery. You like, just because a guy isn't big, like bodybuilding uh, type of dude, right? It doesn't mean that he's not on something, right? Like uh, it's, it's about the recovery. That's why guys take it, right? They recover so much faster and then they could keep uh, training. And here's the thing, the more you're able to train, right? The more time you spent training, right? On the mats, in the ring and, and so on, then of course the better you'll get. It's, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's just as simple as that. Like the more time you put into something, the better you get at it. So let's say for example, in a year you could put in, um, let's say for example, uh, I don't know, uh, let's say a thousand hours, right? Well, if you're on steroids, right, then you could probably put in double, triple, like, you know, 2,000 hours, 3,000 hours. So how much better are you gonna get because you got so much more practice, right? And of course you're stronger too. Let's not kid ourselves, right? You, you're able to contract harder, so you're stronger. That's what, that's what strength is. It's, it's how your ability to contract your muscles uh, hard, right? So, there you go, you know? And so in BJJ, for sure, it's not even tested, guys. So a lot of these guys, uh, you know, like if you could, you could check it out, like uh, articles on on, uh, on on the internet, you Google it and stuff like that, you know, uh, drug testing and BJJ and uh, PEDS and BJJ, you're gonna see, for sure, these guys are on it, man. It's, it's, it's insane, you know? And um, <clears throat> at that level, at the highest level, yeah, they're all on something, right? And uh, now in Judo, in Judo, honestly, guys, I have no idea. I don't know. Like me, me, my coach, we and my coach, my judo coach, we've had the discussions a lot, right? And here's the thing: like in the Olympics, it's super competitive, super high level. Now these guys aren't doing it uh, because, well, it's not for the money because there's not that much, not, not that money, not much, not that much money in amateur sports because when the Olympics is amateur right it's not professional so there's not that much money but they're doing it for other reasons to be the best in the world right so when you have that mindset of being the best in the world and if other people are taking it well chances are like you're gonna take it just to uh, level the playing field now if you guys saw the uh, if there, there's a great documentary uh, on Netflix I don't know if it's still on Netflix I've watched it a, a while ago it's called the Icarus right and they were showing how in the Sochi games uh, all these guys got busted, man. Like the Russians, holy smokes, man! Did they get busted for pets? Uh, and there were it was some elaborate schemes. It, it was state-sponsored uh, drug programs, man. Ped programs and stuff like that. So that was nuts, you know. And they were showing this elaborate way they were like uh, maneuvering to to bypass all the tests, you know. Like they had like hidden walls, and, and then they would open it, and then they would switch like the. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the urine samples and the blood samples and stuff like that. And then they would replace them. They would have like these intricate ways of like undoing the, uh, uh, the vials, you know, that were like uh, sealed in a special sort of way. So you weren't able to tamper with it, but they found a way. It was nuts, man. And this was for, like for cycling and stuff like that. And then uh, there was also this Russian scientist that, that, that connected with a, an American cyclist, right? And then he started putting them on a, 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 pet, a drug program, like a, a PEDS, PEDS program, right? Performance enhancing drugs and all that. And he was, you know, teaching them how to do it and all that. And after that, he had, this guy had to run away from, uh, from Russia, man, because he was about to get assassinated for, for all the stuff he was, uh, uh, he was being um, uh, accused of and all that. And 
yeah, you, you guys should watch that if you have time. You know, it's it's worth it. Now that being said, in judo, so this is the discussion me and my and my uh, my judo coach uh, had. You know, and he was he's he's from the he his idea is that well hell no way no way because the Olympic is so tested and also like judo is such a a a, a, a Japanese thing where it's so square and so disciplined and it's so it's like like in in Japan like I, I've been to Japan right. And uh, a couple of times, and um, my wife is actually Japanese, so like I I've seen the culture, and they're they're very, very honest people. Like, wow, you know, super hardworking, uh, super disciplined, very hard, you know, and 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 lying isn't part of their culture, and and judo too. You guys gotta remember, it's Japanese, so it's very, you know, so so this. So my coach was telling me, no, it would be the end of judo if guys got caught uh, taking pets. You know, it, it would be like the sh a shame of uh, uh, dishonor to the sport, so to speak. And it would it would taint the image of the sport so much that no, nobody in their right mind, no judoka in their right mind would take pets. But that being said, that's just what he thinks about it. But then at on the on, on the other side of things, when you're trying to be the best in the world. The temptation is very strong to cheat, very very strong to you know cheat and take take pets because you know everyone is doing it and all that. I'm not saying they're doing it in judo. I, I'm actually not even aware if anybody ever got caught using pets in in, in judo, right? Or maybe like uh, the IGF has such a hold on the whole thing, and they're so concerned about um, the image of judo being tainted that they wouldn't even um, uh, they, they would keep it under wraps, you know, possibly like. I guess, you know, if, 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 if a judoka athlete at that level, world championships uh, or, or the Olympics get caught like doing something, right? But that being said, I don't know, man. I don't know, you know, because these guys, they train hard, they're young, you know, uh, it's, 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 you know, but everybody trains hard and everybody's young in the Olympics, right? So I have no idea what's going on in judo. I've never heard of it, you know, but like in BJJ, yeah, man, guys are talking about it openly in the, in the, lo in the locker rooms, you know? Oh yeah, I'm taking this, I'm taking that. It's like, it's not even a thing, you know? It's kind of like in pro sports, when you're inside that group and you know, everyone's doing it, like, yeah, nobody, everybody talks about it. It's like bodybuilders, they all talk about it. And you know, like the, uh, at the gyms, you know, when you work out and stuff like that, what, what, you know, everyone's talking about taking stuff. And by the way, guys, I don't take anything. I'm, I'm all natural, you know? Uh, not to say that I wouldn't be open to uh, to be medically supervised by a doctor taking this later on in life. Like let's say right now I'm 41, so maybe if I hit 50, 60 years old or something like that, and then uh, I get my blood levels tested, testosterone and all that, and you know, but I, I would have to understand more. You know, like I don't know, man. It's you know, because I I I want to live as long as I can, but I also want to be as healthy as I can too, right? So. It has to be balanced out. I'm not saying I, I'm against it. I'm against it if you're doing it for the wrong reasons. But what is wrong reason? Hmm. I'd have to think about that, you know, because I, I've always uh, thought that like, okay, you know, it's hard to judge, right? Somebody who, let's say, it, is coming from nothing, gets in, has the talent and, and the work ethic to get to pro sports, to get to a professional level, and of course, to keep competing there, and he has multi-million dollar contract. I could understand that, you know, like, like they, they, they have to take that because it's their, uh, it's it's how they earn a living, right? Uh, and then of course, there's there's bodybuilders who are just crazy, you know, and it, they, they they like they don't care. It's like if you want, if you have good genetics, good work ethic, it only get you so far, right? And then when you want to go pro, well, you have to, have to be a certain size, so you got to take something like beyond your genetic limit. Uh, you have to. Uh, bust that plateau by taking uh, uh, gear, right? Gear, roids, pets, whatever you want to call it. So that being said, I used to think that, okay, well, you know, in that case, I could understand, but people are just taking it to look good. That, that, that's, that doesn't make sense to me at all. I mean, you could look amazing without, without taking anything at all, you know? And me as a, as a martial artist and, and stuff like that, like, would I want to take uh, uh, stuff to, for, for performance? No. No, I, I believe I, I, you know, but later on, like if I'm not competing, right? And, and just, for my, uh, uh, just for my overall quality of life and energy levels and all that, when I hit a certain age, we'll see, we'll see. I, I have to learn more. 
uh, definitely. And I have to understand uh, what are the consequences, if I'm willing to live with it or not, or would I just screw it? Let's, let's just die normally, right? <laughs> And uh, so we'll see that that's going to be an ongoing uh, thing with me in my mind. Like the more I learn as I go, uh, for those of you guys who don't know, uh, I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but I'm very into uh, reading, self-development, right? I like to read on, on, on uh, philosophy, on psychology, on, on, his, in, on history. History, that's my weak point, you know? Uh, and of course on fitness and training and of course martial arts, right? Those are my things. And I like speed. I like speed, so I like, uh, I don't have a motorcycle now, but I used to have, I have my license and everything, I just don't have any money right now to, to, to get myself a bike. But uh, you know, priorities, right? One step at a time, I'm building my way back up. I made a lot of mistakes in my life and a lot of regrets, you know, but hey, it is what it is. And uh, now I'm just moving forward and I'm, I'm doing the best I can, uh, organizing myself and all that. So. In judo, I don't know, guys. I don't know, guys. Like, uh, let me know uh, down below. Do you think uh, guys in judo uh, do it or not? You know, and if they do, I wouldn't be surprised, right? But if they don't, I wouldn't be surprised either. You know, because of what I just mentioned, how it's such a, uh, uh, it just comes because it just comes from a culture that's so square, so honest, so hardworking, and stuff like that. So, it's a very interesting question. But MMA, BJJ. They're, they're all on stuff, man, you know? And, and I kind of like, hey, you know? Uh, but what's interesting is that these guys train so much and, and they're on pets, so it allows them to train even more that their skill level just... <laughs> like, if you guys look at the first UFCs up until now, look at how the evolution of fighting has evolved. Man, these guys are, you know, like, they're it's quantum leap, you know, compared to to how they began and stuff like that. And it's 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 great, right? But at the same time, I mean, you know, guys are taking stuff, but hey, man, um, as I get older, I, I don't like to, um, I don't make conclusive judgments, you know? I don't have like ideologies in my mind. Like I have certain principles and ethics, of course, that I, I try to, that I do my best to live by, but hey, you know, uh, world's a complicated place, man. Life is hard and you know, we're all trying to make a way through this and there's a lot of things going on. So I'm just focused on myself and then uh, as I evolve, then, uh, you know, I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, guys, so I hope that made sense. Uh, you know, let me know what you think down below, man. You know, like, uh, you know, like, of course, BJJ and MMA, like, that's, that's a no-brainer. All the guys are on it, you know. Um, and, but for judo, what do you guys think, man? What do you guys think? You know, like, really, what do you guys think about that? Like, do you guys have any, have you guys read anything? That, that would, uh, you know, that, you know, where people got, at least got caught, you know, judokas got caught doing stuff and stuff like that. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up, man. And um, another interesting thing, uh, one of the, uh, one of the community, me community members mentioned is, uh, is that, that Bruce might have been on pets. So, guys, I'm gonna look that up too, you know, like judokas on pets and Bruce Lee on pets. That's that's definitely I'm so curious now all of a sudden I never fought like I it never crossed my mind that Bruce was on stuff you know but then again like he was a he was phenomenal right I'm not like he probably had genetic uh, disposition naturally to be like that right to be super strong explosive blah 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 crazy work ethic and all martial artist you know philosopher but hmm hmm you know think about it like maybe he didn't know any better too, because back in the days when Arnold, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and all those guys were coming up uh, and, and uh, bodybuilding and all that was kind of like in the early stages, right? I mean, they, didn't, they talked about it openly. They didn't know it was bad for them, you know? And to be honest, I think even if they did, they'd probably do it anyway, <laughs> right? So, okay guys, I hope, uh, I hope that made sense. So like the video, uh, comment, subscribe, uh, sharing is caring. Sharing allows me to, you know, uh, grow the channel. And um, yeah, man, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see what you guys have to say about this, man. Hey, and uh, guys, follow me on IG. Uh, it's uh, OGFit79, right? Uh, you see my logo there, so so like you, you'll know it's me. And also Facebook, man, like add me on Facebook. Uh, I put the link down below because then if you add me on Facebook, I put you in a group, okay? I put you in a group, uh, uh, it's called the OGFit, right? Yeah, OGFit. And from there, like we could communicate better and you guys could share things with me much faster, right? Like if you want to share a video now, it would kind of be a little bit harder too. And 
what it does is that it centralizes everything, you know, like, so YouTube is fine, you know, like I appreciate you guys watching it and stuff like that, but for those of you guys who want to interact more, um, then yeah, yeah, add me on Facebook, right? Uh, the link is below and then I'll add you to the group. And then after that, from there, we could talk, you know, we could share more videos, blah, 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 and so on and so on. And also like, uh, I could see your faces, you know, which is kind of fun too. Like I, 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 I like to, to see who I'm talking to, you know? And it, like YouTube is fun, but it's just me talking, you know? It's just a one-way conversation. I mean, not really one way, you guys comment and all that, but you know what I mean. Hey guys, I need some advice, man. So I bought a dummy, you guys, okay? All right, aha, 90 pounds grappling dummy. Sorry, wait, there you go, 90 pounds grappling dummy. Now the problem with this guy is that I try to put my gi on it and I can't put my gi on it. You notice how his arms are stretched out like that? Well, yeah, it, I could put one side, but then the other side can't go over. So, and, and uh, this thing is as tall as me, which is like five, eight, right? And uh, I don't know what to do, man. If you guys know of any way I can rig this, I'm gonna look it up. But, uh, no, without the gi, you know, so I, I just gotta like throw them, uh, you know, without the gi, but, uh, and, uh, it's still good. I mean, that thing is heavy, man. 90 pounds, like, you know, like, and it's dead weight. It's just, and it's long too. It's awkward. So anyways, I gotta find a way to slap a gi on that thing and, uh, to make it work. But until then I'll be, uh, I'll be making some videos when I, when I have, um, when I drag, when I drag this side, when I drag this, uh, my buddy out, I'm, I'm, I'm coming up with a name for this guy. So it's coming, it's coming. So a couple of names uh, came in. Uh, I asked some suggestions on, on Facebook. So people gave me some suggestions. I got some cool ones. So uh, I'll, I'll keep you guys posted what I'm gonna call them, right? I, I don't know. I like to give them a name, and um, yeah. But I'll, I'll film it when I drag this my, my buddy down. I got a little like I live in a. I, <laughs> check this, guys. I live on the fourth floor. In, in a in a building right so i gotta drag this mofo down okay down like four 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 flights of stairs drag him to the back right where the, where the yard is right uh the, the common yard for the building and then that's where i'm gonna work him you know do my thing so i'm gonna film that and show you guys what i what i do a little bit so if you guys have any suggestions what I could do with that, I was thinking of buying a really big gi, but I don't even know if it's gonna work, like a, like extra, extra, extra large, you know, or maybe uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll, uh, I'll take a gi, I'll cut it in half, and then sew, uh, so put one side on, one side on, and have it sewn, sewn together afterwards. I don't know, I'm just thinking here, or maybe I just, uh, yeah, I gotta figure something out, man. Or I just, anyways, I, I will, I will, I'll rig this. But until then, I'm not going to delay. I'm still going to use him to my advantage, my buddy, throw him around so that I develop a little bit of core strength and, uh, you know, I could even uh, punch and kick a little bit, you know? Well, he's going to be on the floor most of the time, so, you know? All right, guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next one. Peace.